Hi you guys, this is Grandma Carol again. I'm going to read you Pinocchio today. Here we go. Pinocchio. Pinocchio's nose grows. We'll get there in a minute. I can't get these pages turned. There we go. Once there lived a woodcarver. The toy he loved most was a puppet. He called the puppet Pinocchio. One night, a wishing star twinkled in the sky. The woodcarver made a wish. He wished that Pinocchio were a real boy. A blue light filled the workshop. The light turned into the blue fairy. She waved her magic wand over Pinocchio. Pinocchio opened his eyes. Am I a real boy? he asked. You may become a real boy someday, said the blue fairy. But first, you must learn right from wrong, she said. How? asked Pinocchio. The blue fairy asked Jiminy Cricket to be Pinocchio's helper, and then she left. The woodcarver saw Pinocchio. He thought his wish had come true. He was very happy. They danced and sang. The woodcarver sent Pinocchio off to school. Pinocchio carried his book and an apple for the teacher. A cat and a fox stopped Pinocchio. Come with us, the fox said. We'll make you a star. Jiminy Cricket called. Where are you going? Pinocchio. Pinocchio did not listen. He did not want to go to school. He wanted to be a star. Pinocchio danced on a stage. He liked being a star. But then he was locked up in a cage. Help! cried Pinocchio. Jiminy Cricket could not get Pinocchio out. The blue fairy heard his cries. She came at once. Why are you not at school? she asked. Pinocchio was afraid to tell the truth, so he told a lie. Two monsters tied me in a sack. His nose grew and grew. A lie is as plain as the nose on your face, said the blue fairy. Pinocchio shook in fear. I guess lying is wrong, said Pinocchio. He promised never to lie again. Good, the fairy said. You are learning. She waved her magic wand. Pinocchio was free. His nose was small again. Let's go home, said Jiminy Cricket. And that's the end. Here we go. All right, that's all for tonight. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Sleep good.